intern, good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, so, I'm so glad to see you and I'm glad you found me. I know that, well, hello, Mr. Gorilla. You surprised me. I know that uh, our zoo is actually getting quite large, so it can be very difficult to find me in the mornings, but I have to admit, I love how much we're filling it up. I don't love so much the fact that I've forgotten to give the greater mouse deer something to drink. Our beautiful, adorable, itty bitty little greater mouse deer, who we added in yesterday, are actually doing very well right now. So, except for the fact that they seem to be getting stuck on their... Huh. Getting stuck on their treats. So it looks like they're not actually making any use of these. So let's take those out and let's actually move the water dish maybe in here. And we'll put a couple of them down so that they've got some variety to choose from if they want it. <gasps> Look at them go! Oh, they're so cute! Oh, let's put a little pile of fruit down for them where people can watch, because I think they would love that. Hello, little girl! Oh, can you see them? Can you see the greater mouse deer? Are you viewing the animals? What are your thoughts? Greater mouse deer, too, is showing, is showing itself off. Oh, looks like greater mouse deer number one needs an itch greater mouse deer number one looks comfortable in its habitat oh i'm so glad you think so she seems to be pretty happy with how everything's going and the red panda is giving birth we are having a, just an explosion of pandas over here you little bitty red pandas oh there she is all right let's follow her this is one of my favorite parts of the job being able to follow them when they have new babies <gasps> Oh, this is exciting! Also, it reminds me how beautiful all of our plants are! Which is perfect, because I was actually going to do a little bit of landscaping today. Through the daylilies. If you have a baby in the daylilies, I will name it daylily. Billberry? I could name a baby Billberry, I don't object. Bamboo! Okay! We're apparently a very picky- Oh, Bilboo. <laughs> Bilboo! Halfway in the bamboo, halfway- Oh, there we go. How many? One baby? Two babies? One baby! Oh, a little bilberry baby! Alright, let's see. Let's talk to Mama. Let's see if we can get Mama. Oh my gosh. Did we get Mama? We got Mama. Alright, she's off to use the scratching pad, but she has just given birth to Red Panda number 12. Oh, who's gonna go look at the rubber toy? That's adorable. So I'm gonna name this little one Bilberry for being born in the bilberries. Also, Red Panda number five dislikes being in such a smelly exhibit, so that must mean we need a new zookeeper. All right, you, sir, stay here. Uh-uh, come here. You're going to be assigned to the Red Pandas. That's better. So, Red, whoops, Red Panda Keeper Winston. There you go, Winston. Oh, Winston, you just reminded me I need a place to sell panda poop. I know that sounds odd in turn, it always does, but let's see, let's come all the way, maybe to the very back corner. I wonder what people will pay for panda poop. I imagine they would pay quite a fair amount of money. Alright, so let's see. There's a compost building hiding around in the depths of this place somewhere. Um, compost building, where are you? Oh, there's the tiki bar. Oh, and here's the pineapple seafood stand. I keep meaning to put that down. Alright, let's see. Where is it? Oh, and the animal photo booth. I could have sworn I had those down. Oh, well. We'll get there. We'll get there. Aquarium with tropical fish. The reptile house. Might as well put some research into some of these. Um, touch pool. There we go. Compost building. I could have sworn I already paid for you. All right. Well, we'll get the research grants for that. Oh, and Bingo Pega One. The matriarch has passed on. Oh. And a rabbit is escaping again. Oh, these Sumatran striped rabbits are really good at that. So let's go ahead. Release to the wild. Any of them that release to, like, escape, I figure they're smart enough to go into the wild and help the species survive. So we need to pick a new Bengal tiger to inherit the line. So this is a male. I wonder if we have a female. If we have a female, we'll keep her. This is a male. So it's a bachelor group of brothers, it looks like. And this is a male. Alright, well, we will keep, I think, um, number five. Okay, so he'll be the youngest. And we will release to the wild this tiger. And this is a very, very good thing that we're doing. I know it's hard. It's so hard sometimes. Oh, but it's worth it. All right. And we're keeping five. So I need to go to six. There we go. And we'll gently release him into the wild. And let's back up while the uh, little helicopters come in. Look at him. There they go. There they go. Picking up the tigers. And don't worry. They are released safely into the wilds where they will be in a protected park. 
and provide some much needed genetic variety for the tigers living there. It's very difficult for a predator to live in the wild, especially one that is so intensely hunted as these guys are. All right, for all of their parts too, and partly for their rarity as well. It's such, such a tragedy. All right, mangrove forest, there we go. And we're gonna get a lovely female, and I'm actually gonna give her a name. I think I'm gonna name her, what should I name her? Hmm, Nala. I'm gonna go with Nala for now. So that's Nala, and we'll have to see if she proves to provide as much wonderful cubs and good care to her cubs as her predecessor did. All right, and then what's going on over here? Oh yay, the research for the animal photo booth is complete. So let's go ahead and just stick that down in a few places. All right, where is it? There we go. There we go. I just want to be able to grab this. Woo, okay. Conservation Excellence Award in recognition of your 25th animal release to the wild. Go us. Oh, I'm so proud. All right, so let's go ahead. I want an animal photo booth pretty much everywhere we can have one, to be honest, in turn. I want people to be able, woohoo, and the compost building research is done. Sweet. So let's stick that in the far back corner and occasionally we'll remember it's here but it does so much for earning us money through recycling and it does so so much to help us out with uh, just raising awareness about our zoo all right I want to see if people will actually use this thing so I'm gonna stick it in some random places where we see a lot of foot traffic like over here we see a lot of foot traffic right here in fact I'm gonna go ahead and stick it is there a pathway over here Oh, and Grace just passed away of old age. Aww. It's like I said yesterday, in turn. It's very sad when these things happen, but the best we can do is try to just move on and make the best of life for our creatures. All right, yes, you just became more famous. And actually, an animal passing away of old age is in its own small way a victory for us, in turn, because it shows that we took good, good care of them for that long. Also, sir, if you can't see animals, you just need to come right over here. There's lots of greater mouse deer to see. And there's like lots of pandas over here. There's a lot to do, sir. I can only walk you and hold your hand so much, sir. All right, let's see, should I put, ah, I should have been, I shouldn't have been sarcastic and rude to him. Customer service is what stars are all about, intern. Never forget that. I just lost some. Oh, I hate it when that happens. All right, we'll put another one right there. All right, what about now? Okay, he got money at the ATM. He can't wait to see any animals. He couldn't see any animals from where he was at. These people can see animals fine, but maybe if I put some binoculars in over here. Yay, five stars again, woohoo! Maybe if I put some binoculars in, that will help. So let's put some binoculars for the clouded leopard. And then let's come over here. Maybe install some binoculars over here. Here, we could even do like a little binocular spot right there and I'll even put down a rare bit of extra path instead of plants that's how dedicated I am to try and help people out all right and we'll get this little down there path there we go good and where's this child going who knows where are you headed child he's going to go cost toss a coin in the small fountain that's adorable all right if he wants to toss a coin in I mean the small fountain too. They're not tossing coins in the endangered species fountains. Oh no, what did I do? Oh, I guess that's a good way to be able to, I guess. Oh dear. Well, I'm just gonna casually, you know what? We're gonna leave that. Cause it's like, hey, you wanna see these clouded leopards? We want you to see these clouded leopards. We're just gonna raise the ground up for you so you can see them even better. Cause why not? Let's just go for it. Oh my gosh, in turn. <sighs> That's what I have to say to that. Where's my ferns? I need handfuls of ferns. I just wanna like snuggle my ferns for a minute to feel better. All right, also because we need to put them down here. All right, so we have people coming over to use the binoculars to look closer at the clouded leopards. The orangutans are pregnant. Heather has just passed away of old age. She was one of our uh, our horses, our wild horses. Red Panda 6 is now pregnant, possibly again. I could have sworn Red Panda 6 just gave birth. I need to get more names. Freya and Rhea have not yet uh, gotten pregnant and had any babies, but that might be due to their age. All right, which is good. You never want to breed the animals just for the sake of it. You never want to breed them if they are too young for such nonsense. All right, there we go. So we're just going to totally remove, totally just remove the path from around here. 
Hi everybody, yep. Just, I was putting a binocular down and things got kind of interesting. If you would still care to donate to this zoo, it would mean a lot. You could probably reach it just fine, right? <gasps> Clouded Leopard 2 is now pregnant! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Yes! What do you think, sir? You saw that! You witnessed that! Clouded Leopard 1 and Clouded Leopard 2 are mating, so he saw that! I knew it! What do you think, sir? I know you saw that. I mean, the other guy had an up-close and personal view of everything, so maybe he can go be a scientist now and tell us all about it. But oh my gosh! We're messing this area up for sure. Alright, intern, it's time to get out the shovel. We can only make jokes about messing this area up so horribly for so long. Alright, where's our little flatten shovel? <laughs> Come on. Come on, you can do it. Oh dear. Intern, I think we just made a huge big old mess. A big old mess, as they say. So let's just leave that. I'm not touching- Oh, I'm not touching it anymore! Oh no! Oh, it's horrible. It's a workout system. I don't know what you're talking about. It's just a workout system. So, okay, if we throw enough ferns at it, maybe no one will notice. It's a fern- a fern gully. It's just a fern gully. Yeah, that's right. That's all. That's all. No, no, I don't need- to, no one report me to Ben. Alright, please. <laughs> All right, there we go. <sighs> oh, and giant panda number nine is stuck somewhere, it seems. What are you doing behind there? You can't go back there. Get over here and be happy. There you go. Let's come down, make sure the panda's okay. You okay? All right, little one. That's better. And it seemed like the clouded leopard actually needed help grooming. Oh jeez, an intern, I haven't even told you what we were going to try to do today, and that's get the Asian elephant exhibit prepared. Yeah, that hasn't been going down. We've been so busy just running around and doing the basics. Animal photo booth, let's make it super duper cheap. Come on, ma'am. Alright. Oh, why are you complaining? Oh, the mouse you're fighting. Oh. Needed money but can't find an ATM. Well, come over here. I'll have to put more ATMs down. I guess I need them at more regular intervals. I'm out of money and this zoo isn't fun enough for me. What? <laughs> well, that that's not fun. Let's go ahead and put the ATM down again then. I have always feel awkward throwing the ATMs down, but I shouldn't. Because if someone wants to spend money, they want to spend money right then. If I had to like search for an- Oh, look at how popular this area has gotten. Yes! That's a victory! That's a score for us in turn! Yes! We'll put an ATM over here too. Woohoo! In fact, I kind of want to put another gift cart. We have one up here. Or, excuse me, gift shop. But I kind of want to move another one down over here. Especially since we are going to be trying to build the Asian elephant area this way. And how much of the zoo have we taken up so far? I, We've gotten a good chunk of it covered. And I want the Asian elephant area to be gigantic. So this is our camel and horse zone. It's huge. So what I'm going to think for our Asian elephant is that we're just going to cover basically this entire space. Like come down here, possibly just all the way straight up over here and people can view one side from here. Maybe get in a sky tram actually. That would be really fun. We could do a sky tram from this corner all the way up and across over to this spot and we might even open it up into this area and just consider that whole back section to belong to the elephants as a roaming zone. I really wouldn't mind doing that. We have lots of other zones we're working on, we have lots of other space in this zoo and that would make it huge and good for the elephants. So there's an idea. That is possibly some, one of the things we're about to do. Alright, what is, what is she complaining about now? Alright, oh she needs somewhere to sit. Ugh. Oh, and Rayu is pregnant! Oh, that's so exciting! So exciting! Alright, I was gonna put, like, I think a fountain over here is what I decided on. Why is she complaining? Help! Help! Clouded leopard hat! She has a clouded leopard hat and a photo! I wanna get the restaurant. I need money, but couldn't find ATM. Right here, right here, right here. Right here. No, you don't have any money! How are you going to go to the restaurant when you have no money? No, come to the ATM. <laughs> All right, I'll feed you free breadsticks. Free breadsticks and a free game of chess at the restaurant. I don't know how she's paying for it, but it's on the house, it's on the house. Please be happy. Welcome to the zoo. 
Uh, you know what I want to put over here is actually, um, let's see, because people are really unhappy over here. Looking for an ATM. Oh my gosh. You know what? People want to find an ATM like right here. Oh, Freya just gave birth. Yes. I'm so happy. There's an ATM right here. Can you not see it? Really? It's right in front of you. Okay, okay, hang on. All right, let's try this. What if I put it right there? Do you see the ATM now? Come on, come on. Oh, come on, open your eyes. Oh, this is awkward. Woman, the ATM's right here. Are you going to the ATM? Oh my gosh, it's right here, you guys. Okay, here, I'll put it right here. All right, maybe, maybe, is it like, is the ground messed up over here? Does the path need to be right here? What am I working with here? Lily is now pregnant. Come on. Looking for an ATM. ATM. All right, let's take you to one that's been proven to, to be used. Proven effective. Where is the proven effective ATM? I heard, just heard someone do something money related. Okay, what about this one? ATM. Right here. Oh, I don't think I can help her. I just, I, I'm, okay, no, if, no, if she can't, okay, that's fine, that's fine, I'm not questioning this anymore, we're just gonna let it slide in turn, just gonna let it slide, sometimes that's the, the thing you gotta do, alright, so let's come over here, and I kinda wanna put down some really, ooh, daylilies, <gasps> I was gonna say some really pretty flowers, and daylilies definitely count, or stargazer lilies, excuse me, definitely count as really pretty flowers. So let's do a little pile of stargazer lilies right here to fill in the spot. Let's see. Yeah, that should be plenty, plenty, plenty. And rotate, and they're good. Wonderful, good. And let's see. People, there's something, I just feel like there's something wrong here. Like people are really bored and I need to handle it in some, some manner. I think I'm gonna try putting down a fountain. So let's scooch our educator up a little bit. I'm gonna try putting up a new type of fountain to break this area up and get people to stop fussing. Because I worry, it's, I'm not trying to be mean, I'm trying to actually do really worry about them when they start fussing like this. It's like, no, be happy. If you're not happy here, then you're never gonna like be excited about the animals we're trying to teach you about. A geyser would be exciting. You think they'd be excited about a geyser? I don't think our educator would be very excited about a geyser. I don't think she'd appreciate a geyser. <laughs> like right where she's trying to do her work. God, a leopard two is going to get birth. Oh, let's go watch and turn. All right, let's jump down into the durian trees. All right, where is she? Where is she? Oh, there's, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you cannot give birth in these conditions. You poor cat. Where is she? Oh my gosh, we're gonna miss it. Where is she? There's the heated rock. Is that you? I don't know if this is her. Woo, okay. Dizzy, dizzy, dizzy. I don't know if it's her, though. Is this her? I don't know. Cloud Leopard 2? No, I think that's Cloud Leopard 1. Ah, where's Cloud Leopard 2? Oh, she's way back here. Oh, she's headed straight for the cave. Okay. We're in position. <gasps> there she is. Oh, my gosh. Look at the baby. You are so scary because you have no skin texture. <laughs> We have kittens! We have clouded leopard kittens! I'm so happy! Why is the girl really thirsty? What? What? Alright, uh, here's a water dish. Maybe that'll help things. Ah, oh, sometimes. Sometimes they just can't figure out they're swimming in water, so you have to do that. But let's check on... Dun dun dun! Was playing with a feeder ball that is adorable and the guests still can't find ATMs I guess that's the complaint of the day is is no money looking for something else to do waiting in line at ATM all right people are using that ATM so at least I know that that's successful and let's go ahead and try maybe another fountain over here we need to we need to ramp up the entertainment value of this section maybe a splash fountain that sounds playful let's do a splash fountain Maybe that'll help things. We'll put it right about here. And then let people walk up to it and play in it. And hopefully that'll make them happy. 
So we'll put a splash fountain like right here. Oops, didn't mean to go that far. Oh, I heard somebody take a picture. <gasps> Wait, was that you? Is somebody getting their picture taken? Oh, he is, yes. He's buying a photo and he's pissed. Okay, he's really unhappy. He needs somewhere to sit down. I'm so sorry, sir. No one ever sits on my benches except when like they, they're exhausted. I'm sorry, oh, oh my goodness. All right, well, let's try, whoops. All right, let's try putting these down. It's getting to that point, and turn. it's getting to that point that we are managing a zoo so big. Going to view animals. Sir, there's a seat right here. Do you want to sit in it? Is it just not the right spot? Does that help at all? Maybe? What about this? Here, here, what about that? Yeah? Here, sir. Seat for you to sit and rest. I've, I've seen people sitting and resting on these seats. When they need them. Do we, do we want more variety? Is that what I'm being told? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Going to rest on the umbrella table? I think I'm being told that these benches aren't good enough. Wait, and why is Lily really thirsty? Oh, because she was trying to take care of her baby the whole time. <laughs> when the panda moms are being panda moms, they get very distracted. Oh my gosh. And my, my guests are complaining. I guess we need more varieties of benches. They want some other places. They want a different spot to put their rumps. I guess the spot I had picked out for them to put their rumps just won't cut it anymore. Well, sometimes that happens. Sometimes that happens in turn. You just gotta learn to roll with it. Um, also, we should probably put down a ton of maps, shouldn't we? So people know how to get around our zoo. Maybe some gorilla heads too. Look at that. Isn't that jungle stone awesome? Do you think that would get the guest happy? Putting down a bunch of jungle heads? At this point, I'll take anything. All right, including that splash fountain. So, all right, last thing in turn. We'll put the splash fountain down here for now. Whew. And I guess in the morning, we're just gonna have to try out some different benches, sprinkle them around, check on baby Billberry, and hopefully be able to mark off the area where we are going to be putting the Asian elephants. Cause we have new zones to move on to next week. We are going to try to move on to the Coral Cove Redone, the Redone Coral Cove Zoo uh, next week. And then eventually we will come back here. Don't worry. We're rotating between all of our different, different places. Okay, come here little baby. Billberry is very thirsty and that should help. Going to be nursed by Red Panda 7. Well, I just ruined that, didn't I? Red Panda 7, your baby needs you. More babies. Oh, we have so many red pandas. Oh, all right, in turn, I'm going to try to sort this out and I'm going to get over here and, oh, don't be, don't be angry and try to make our guest happy. <laughs> oh, even though it seems to be a little bit of a hard thing to do and I will see you bright and early in the morning, in turn. Bye-bye.